is because is that what we did to find the domain of a function? Yes. Yeah, so you guys are kind of used to that. You say, hey, the discontinuities are whatever makes the denominator equal to 0. So you set that equal to 0. So you'd say x squared minus 1 equals 0. Add 1, add 1. You know, x squared equals 1, square root, square root, x equals plus or minus 1. So my discontinuities, the values that are not in the domain, is plus or minus negative 1. But now my question is asking you, are they removable or non-removable? Are they a whole or an asymptote? Well, I know if I plug in 1 or negative 1 into this function, I'm going to be dividing by 0. So what I want to do is see, can I remove any of them? So I look to factor my numerator and factor my denominator. The numerator, the numerator you can see, I, don't, I think I made that mistake. I think that was supposed to be an x. That was crap. This is supposed to be an x. I apologize. I wrote that wrong. So write it like this, because this is what I want you guys to see. If you, write, if you factor this out, that's going to be an x plus 1. Factor denominator is x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now you guys can see that the x plus 1 divides out. So I say x equals 1 is still a discontinuity, but it's a removable because it's a whole. It depends on what I'm asking. I'm having us write both just so you guys understand it. A question might say to tell me if it's removable or removable. Tell me if it's a whole or an asymptote. Just know that's the same thing. Okay. Um, negative one, you can't divide out, so that is non-removable, and that's an asymptote. Okay. Yes, absolutely. And if you look at the graph, what you'll notice is there's only going to be one asymptote there. Right? But you still have that hole, though. Just because, again, that, and I don't want you guys to 